Alright, welcome to my channel, Math in Language. This is James, your Math in Language instructor. Today, we have an algebra video and we're going to discuss how to find the value of x, a step-by-step -step approach. So we have seven lessons. First one is introduction to equation. Second one is addition property of equality. Lesson three will be multiplication property of equality. Lesson four, equations of the form ax plus b is equal to c. And lesson 5 is equations of the form ax plus b is equal to cx plus d. Lesson 6 is about equations containing group symbols. And last lesson will be equations containing fractions and decimals. So let's move to lesson 1, introduction to equation. Ano nga ba ang equation? Ang equation is consists of two mathematical expressions. Ang expressions na to can be numerical or algebraic expressions like the first one 8 plus 5 is equal to 13 or 2x minus 1 i equals to 10 or feathering x square plus 2 is equal to 3x minus 1 so paano natin malalaman kung ang equation ay true or false let's see the equation x plus 2 is equal to 10 pag yung x ay replace ng 8 so, 8 plus 2 ay 10, which is correct, right? So, true ang equation mo. Pag false naman, we have x plus 2 is equal to 10, at yung x ay nareplace ng 5. 5 plus 2 is equal to 10. So, 5 plus 2 is 7. is not equal to 10. So, false yung equation na to. So, let's move to lesson 2, addition property of equality. Ano nga ba itong addition property of equality na to? We have a is equal to b. So, and a plus c is equal to b plus c. Kung ano dinagdag mo sa a, ganun din ang idadagdag mo sa b para equal. Isipin nyo para tong timbangan or weighing scale. Kung ano dinagdag mo sa kaliwa, dapat ganun din ang idadagdag mo sa kanan para balance. So let's see this equation. x plus 2 is equal to 9. Hanapin natin yung value ng x. So para magawa yan, kailangan natin ma-isolate yung x sa kaliwa. So, dapat x lang yun na sa kaliwa. Tapos, magiging isang number na lang yung sa kanan. Paano natin gagawin yon? Tatanggalin natin yung 2. Paano na? So, magsusubtract tayo. Nagsubtract ako ng 2 dun sa kaliwa. So, x plus 2 plus negative 2 or minus 2 din yun. Tapos, magsubtract din ako ng minus 2 sa kanan. Or magdadagtag ka ng negative 2. Same yon sa minus 2. So, pag nangyari yun, x plus 2 plus negative 2. So, yung 2 plus negative 2 maka-cancel out. That will be 0. And 9 plus negative 2 is equal to 7. Same with 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. So, x plus 0 is x pa rin. And so, the equation is x equal to 7. Variable ang x, ang constant mo ay 7. So, let's have another example. x minus 10 is equal to 20. Paano mo papawalain yung minus 10 na yan? So, magdadagtag ka ng 10 para mawala yung minus 10. So, magdadagtag ako ng 10 sa kaliwa. Kung ano yung ginawa mo sa kaliwa, ganun din yung gagawin mo sa kanan. So, that will be x minus 10 plus 10 is equal to 20 plus 10. So, that will be x plus 0 is equal to 30. And x is equal to 30. So, let's have example number 2. We have 9 is equal to 7 plus x. So, we have to subtract 7 from both sides para ma-isolate yung x sa right side. So, 9 minus 7 is equal to 7 minus 7 plus x. So, 9 minus 7 is equal to 2 and 7 minus 7 is 0 plus mo yung x. So, that will be 2 is equal to x or x is equal to 2. Alright, lesson 3 na tayo. Multiplication property of equality. Ano ba tong property na to? Ibig sabihin lang nito, kung ano man yung minultiply mo sa kaliwa, ganun din yung gagawin mo sa kanan, equal pa rin. Basta kung ano yung minultiply mo na yon ay hindi dapat equal sa 0. Solve an equation. We have 6x is equal to 24. Para mawala yung 6 at ma-isolate natin yung x sa kaliwa, we need to get rid of 6. Dapat mawala yung 6. So, Ita times natin to sa inverse ng 6 or 1 over 6. So, 
Nag-times ako ng 1 over 6 sa kaliwa, ganun din ang gagawin ko sa kanan. So that will be 1 6 times mo ng 6 ay 1 at 1 6 times mo ng 24, that will be 4. So that will be 1x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 4. So next example tayo, we have 10x over 2 is equal to 40. To solve this one, we need to simplify first. What is 10 divided by 2? That is 5. So, balik mo yung x, so it's 5x na. It's equal to 40. Now, to get rid of 5, we need to divide it by 5, both sides. So, that will be 5x over 5 is equal to 40 over 5. So, that will be x is equal to 8. Alright, next example tayo. We have 5x over 3 i equals to 15. Para mawala yung 3 sa denominator, we need to multiply it by 3, both sides. So, 5x over 3, na times mo ng 3, ay equals to 15 times 3. So, maka-cancel out yung 3. So, that will be 5x is equal to 45. Ngayon, kailangan naman natin mawala yung 5. We need to divide 5 for both sides. So, that will be 5x over 5 is equal to 45 over 5. Ang sagot ay x is equal to 9. Okay, so dahil alam na natin ang addition and multiplication property of equality, let's go to lesson 3, which is the equations of the form is equal to ax plus b is equal to c. So, paano ba natin ito gagawin? Same lang ng ginawa natin kanina. Kailangan maging form na variable is equal to constant. Yung x is equal to a number. For example, we have the equation 4x plus 27 is equal to 35. So, para gawin to, we need to subtract 27 from each side of the equation. Dapat mawala mo na yung 27 dun sa kaliwa. So, mag-subtract ako parehas ng 27. Pag sinimplify mo, that will be 4x is equal to 8. Ngayon, para mawala yung 4 sa tabi ng x, you need to divide 4 sa both equations. So, 4x over 4 is equal to 8 over 4 x is equal to 2. Let's see another example. We have 10x minus 2 is equal to 48. So, para mawala yung minus 2 na yan, kailangan ko magdagdag ng 2 sa both sides of the equation. So, 10x minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 48 plus 2. Let's simplify. So, mawawala yung 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. At 48 plus 2 ay 50. Well, that will be 10x is equal to 50. Para mawala naman yung 10, we need to divide both sides by 10. So, 10x over 10 is equal to 50 over 10. That will be x is equal to 5. Next example tayo, we have 15 is equal to 12 minus 3x. So, we need to focus on the right side of the equation. Para mawala ang 12, we need to subtract 12 from each side. So, that will be 15 minus 12 is equal to 12 minus 12 minus mo ng 3x. Simplify natin. Ano ba 15 minus 12? That is 3. Tapos 12 minus 12 ay 0. Matitira ay negative 3x. So, kailangan natin mawala yung negative 3 na yun sa tabi ng x. We need to divide both sides by negative 3. So, that will be 3 over negative 3 is equal to negative 3x over mo ng negative 3. So, ang sagot ay negative 1 ay equals to x. Or, Symmetric property, that will be x is equal to negative 1. Alright, so hirapan natin konti. Let's move to lesson 4, equations of the form ax plus b is equal to cx plus d. So dito naman, may variable sa both sides. So paano natin gagawin to? Same lang din. Kung yung ninawa natin kanina, variable is equal to constant. We need to simplify lang. Let's solve the equation 3x minus 8 is equal to negative 2x plus 12. So, gawin natin, mag-focus tayo sa left side. Tanggalin natin yung negative 2x sa kanan. So, that will be, mag-add ka ng 2x sa each side of the equation. That will be 3x plus 2x minus 8 is equal to negative 2x plus mo ng 2x plus mo ng 12. Simplify natin. 3x plus 2x i 5x. So, baba mo yung negative 8. So, 5x minus 8 na lang. Yung negative 2x plus 2x, 0 na yun. 
cancelled out na sila. So, baba mo na 12. Ang matitira, you have 5x minus 8 is equal to 12. Okay, so isa na lang yung x natin. Nasa kaliwa na siya. Kailangan naman natin mawala yung negative 8 na yan, or yung minus 8. Nagawin natin, mag a tayo ng 8 sa both sides. So, magiging equation natin ay 5x plus 8 minus man ng 8 is equal to 12 plus 8. Simplify natin. Yung 8 minus 8, 0 na yun. Tapos yung 12 plus 8 ay 20. So, para mawala naman yung 5, kailangan natin mag-divide both sides by 5. So, 5x over 5 is equal to 20 over 5. So, simplify ulit. 5x over 5 is x. 20 over 5 is equal to 4. So, x is equal to 4. Alright, so let's solve another equation. 5 minus mo ng 2x ay equal sa 3x minus mo ng 7x plus 25. So, we need to combine like terms on the right side muna. So, isimplify muna natin yung nasa kanan. So, yung nasa kanan ay 3x minus 7x plus 25. Combine like terms, yung 3x minus 7x ay equal sa negative 4x. So, simplify, that will be 5 minus 2x is equal to negative 4x plus mo ng 25. So, para mawala naman yung negative 4x sa kanan, we need to add 4x on both sides of the equation. So, magiging 5 minus 2x plus 4x equals a negative 4x plus 4x plus 25. Now, let's simplify. Negative 2x plus 4x is equal to 2x. Tapos yung negative 4x plus 4x naman, sa kanan, mawawala na sila. So, matitira na lang ay 25. So, magiging 5 plus 2x ay equal sa 25. Next, para mawala naman yung 5 sa kaliwa, we need to subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. So, that will be 5 minus 5 plus mo ng 2x ay equal sa 25 minus 5. Let's simplify. That will be 5 minus 5 is 0. Matitira ang 2x. So, 25 minus 5 ay 20. So, we need to divide both sides by 2 para mawala naman yung 2. So, 2x over 2 ay equal sa 20 over 2. So, that will be 2x over 2 is x and 20 over 2 ay 10. So, let's move to the next lesson. We have lesson 5, equations containing grouping symbols. So, kailangan natin magamit yung distributive property na dito para ma-remove natin yung grouping symbols. For example, we have 9 minus 2 times the quantity 7 x minus 5 is equal to 3 times the quantity x minus 5. So, solution dito is we need to use the distributive property to remove the parentheses. So, yung 9 minus mo ng 2, the times mo, yung negative 2, the times mo sa 7x muna. So, that will be negative 14x. Tapos yung negative 2, the times mo sa negative 5, that will be positive 10. So, that will be 9 minus 14x plus mo ng 10 is equal to 3 times mo sa x, that will be 3x, and 3 times mo ng negative 5, that will be negative 15. So, ang equation mo na ay 9 minus 14x plus 10 is equal to 3x minus 15. Ngayon, simplify na natin yung left side. Yung 9 minus 14x mo plus ng 10, so 9 plus 10, that's 19. So, sulat na natin, negative 14x plus mo ng 19 is equal to 3x minus 15. Next, para mawala naman yung 3x sa kanan, we need to subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. So, that will be negative 14x minus mo ng 3x plus 19 is equal to 3x minus 3x minus 15. Simplify it, that will be negative 14 x minus 3x, that will be negative 17x plus 19. At yung sa kanan naman, 3x minus 3x minus 15, mawawala na yung 3x minus 3x. So, 0 na siya. So, negative 15 na lang matitira. Ang equation mo na ay negative 17x plus mo ng 19 is equal to negative 15. So, makikita natin, isa na lang yung x dun sa equation. Kailangan mo natin tanggalin yung 19 para makita na natin yung answer. So, we need to subtract 19 from both sides of the equation. Negative 17x plus mo ng 19 
minus man ng 19 is equal to negative 15 minus 19. So, simplify natin. Magiging negative 17x, 19 minus 19 is 0, is equal to negative 15 minus man ng 19, that will be negative 34. And para makuha na natin yung x, we need to divide both sides by negative 17. So that will be negative 17x over negative 17 is equal to negative 34 over negative 17. x is equal to 2. Alright, let's move to the last lesson. We have equations containing fractions and decimals. In this lesson, kapag may fraction ka, kailangan mong i-multiply both sides dun sa LCD ng fraction. Kapag may decimal ka naman, kailangan maklear mo yung equation ng decimal. Kung meron kang decimal place na 1, mong multiply mo ng 10. Kapag dalawa yung decimal places, multiply mo ng 100. Pag tatlo, multiply mo ng 1000 and so on. So let's see some examples. We have the equation x plus 1 half is equal to 6 over 11. Paano natin gagawin to? We need to multiply both sides of the equation by 22 kasi ang LCD ng 1 half at 6 over 11 ay 22. So multiply na natin. 22 times the quantity x plus 1 half is equal to 22 times 6 over 11. So let's simplify using distributive property. 22 times ng x ay 22x. Plus mo sa 22 times mo ng 1 half. It's equal to 22 times mo ng 6 over 11. So we have the remaining equation 22x plus 11 is equal to 12. To simplify it, 22x is equal to 1. So para makuha natin yung x, just divide both sides by 22. We have the answer, x is equal to 1 over 22. Alright, so let's have the final example. We have 0.3 times mo ng quantity 2x plus 7 is equal to 1.1 ma minus mo sa quantity x minus 9. Ilan ang decimal place sa kaliwa? We have 1. Ilan ang decimal place sa kanan? We have 1 also, maximum of 1. So, we need to multiply both sides by 10. So, that will be 10 times the quantity 0.3 times the quantity 2x plus 7 is equal to 10 times the quantity 1.1 minus the quantity x minus 9. Alright, so let's simplify by using the distributive property. Multiply mo lang yung 10 sa both sides ng equation. We have 3 times 2x plus 7 is equal to 11 minus mo ng 10 times the quantity x minus 9. Distributive property ulit. So 3 times 2x, that will be 6x. 3 times 7 is 21. is equal to 11 minus distributive property ulit. 10 times x is 10x. And negative 10 times negative 9, that will be 90. Let's solve the resulting equation. 6x plus 21 is equal to negative 10x plus 101. Simplify na natin. That will be 6x plus 10x is equal to 101 minus 21. So 16x is equal to 80 and divide both sides by 16. We have x is equal to 5. And that's the end of the video on how to find the value of x, a step-by-step -step approach. If you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.